Peace. So I wanted to take a moment and build about our universal flag at a 5%. I was having a recent discussion with somebody about our universal flag, and I was sharing some things that they weren't aware of. So I wanted to take a moment to share some of those things with all of you, and hopefully you get a deeper understanding and appreciation for our universal flag. For those of you who don't know what I'm referring to, I'm going to show you the cover of this book first, because it's an excellent book to get. Got that? But on the back of the book, we have our universal flag, which is the national emblem of the five percenters. Um, we're also commonly referred to as the nation of gods and earths, but this is our national emblem. Um, we were building more specifically about the sun, so that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. One of the things that you'll notice initially with the sun is that it's depicted as a compass. It has eight points on it. One of the other things that you'll notice is that the sun is in the background. It's the backdrop of our universal flag, which means all of the other symbols rest upon or are in the foreground of that universal flag. So one of the things that it's telling you is that the sun is the foundation. The same way that man is the foundation of the family that we teach. That foundation means that Integrity, fortitude, the ability to provide provisions and protection are key elements of that foundation having a sense of stability. So the same way that the man functions in that capacity in terms of his role and responsibility individually as well as in the capacity of his family, the son serves the same purpose for the human family. Um, as a compass, these eight points correspond to the eight principal winds which are eight cardinal and intercardinal points or directions. The four cardinal points are north, east, west, and south. And the four intercardinal points are northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. A compass is a navigation tool that allows you to determine direction as well as global positioning. When you're thinking about it in a cultural context, we have this compass on our flag because we have eight points of a cultural curriculum that allows us to determine our direction, culturally speaking, as well as our global positioning and our capacity to navigate the map of human geography. In other words, the same way if a person is out in the forest and they're utilizing a compass to determine direction and global positioning or if they're out to sea, we utilize eight particular points of a cultural curriculum that allows us to determine our cultural direction as well as our global positioning and capacity to navigate the map of human geography. Um, I've shared this in a video in the past about that eight point cultural curriculum, but I'm going to share again what that is. Um, the point at the top represents our supreme mathematics. This next point, which is 45 degrees apart, each of these points are 45 degrees apart, represents the supreme alphabet. Then you have the 1 to 10s, which is student enrollment, the 1 to 14s, the 1 to 36, the 1 to 40s, the actual facts, and the solar facts. Those eight principal winds or directions or eight points to this compass are 45 degrees apart. 8 times 45 represents 360 degrees, and 360 degrees is a complete cipher. So a vital part of being complete, and I'm speaking specifically from the perspective of being the sun, and being a man is having integrity, having a sense of fortitude, the ability to provide provisions and protection, a sense of stability when it comes to emotional, mental, physical, and financial stability. And from the perspective of the 5%, to attain the eight points of our cultural curriculum, which, like I mentioned, are the supreme mathematics, supreme alphabet, student enrollment, or the one to tens. 1 to 14, 1 to 36, 1 to 40, actual facts and solar facts. One of the reasons why we may have an issue with people just claiming to be the 5% is because, number one, they may not understand the vital importance of representing the sun within the context of not only their immediate or nuclear family, but within the context of the human family. They also may have not attained those particular points of our cultural curriculum that allows them to have a sense of cultural direction, 
a sense of place or positioning, and which equips them with the capacity to navigate the map of human geography. They may not have any of that. They may just think, oh, I'm just going to call myself this. I'm just going to get a shirt or a necklace with this on. But they're not actually properly representing what this flag is all about. And that's one of the reasons why you see us who have an issue with people doing that because they're misrepresenting our nation. They're misrepresenting what this flag actually means. It's a very, very sacred and important thing. And you can't just come along and just say that you're something that you're not actually living out. Um, one of the other things that I mentioned a little earlier is that those eight points on our flag, which corresponds to the eight principal winds or the points of a compass, also symbolically means that if a person does not know those eight particular points or eight principal winds, eight being build or destroy in our supreme mathematics, they don't have the capacity to build and destroy what they stand upon in terms of their principles of life and win or be successful in their undertakings. So those eight principal wins is also saying that build and destroy what is necessary standing on the proper principles to be successful in your undertakings in life, to actually win at life, right? So these are just some of the symbols that represent our flag. And there are other different elements of our flag. But I just wanted to take a moment and build on that briefly, which is an elaboration on the discussion that I was having. So I will this was inspiring, it was empowering, it was educational, and gave those of you a little bit more of a deeper insight and appreciation about our universal flag. Peace.